This is the solution to written homework 63. The depicted transformation is entirely shifts. Okay, so let's label corresponding points. So if I call this point 1, then just comparing, uh, this must be the transformed point 1. So let's look. This point 1 is at position uh, so 2, 4, 5, so negative 5, and then 3. Whereas the transformed point is at 2, 4, 6, negative 7, so at negative 7, and then 2, Four, six. So that one point shifted left to and then up three. Let's see if the rest of them did that. How about let's select, say, this point. Uh, this point is two, four, six, two, four, five, and the corresponding point, if I call this point two, say, here's the corresponding point two, and it is at coordinates two, four, six, eight, two. Well, did it go left two and up three? So 8, left 2 is 6, good, and 2, up 3 is 5, good. So that's the transformation. So left 2 and up 3. So it must be y minus 3 is p of x plus 2. Okay. So again, we have the same plot as before, except we're doing a different transformation. So this, this is still the point negative 5, 3, and this is still the point 8, 2. And we went, underwent a shift and a scale. OK. So I can see that here's the v. And there's the V again. So this is point 2, and this must be the corresponding point 2. The coordinates of this point are 4, 4. And I can see that this plot was made into this one, since it says a shift and a scale, but it must have been vertically scaled must have been vertically scaled uh, and if that's the case 2 to 4 to get 2 to be 4 it must have been vertically scaled by 2 so a vertical uh, vertical stretch by a factor of 2 and if it also contained a shift that means that this 8 had to move over to 4 so it must have also gone left 4. So so that's considering one point. Let's see if that agrees with this other point. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 9. And then 2, 4, 6. So let's see. If we took this point negative 5, 3, and we shifted it left, then that negative 5 would become negative 9. So that agrees. And if we were to take this point, negative 5, 3, and vertically stretch it by 2, that 3 would become a 6. So that agrees. Okay. So this must be it, left 4, vertical stretch 2. So that would be y over 2 is equal to p 
of x plus 4.